Diller Odell, Coach's Corner, a service of the State Bank of Odell and the Vance Curtis Funeral Loans. The State Bank of Odell, proud supporters of Diller Odell activities, wishes all teams, clubs, and groups good luck this year. For all your banking needs, including internet and mobile banking, stop in or give them a call, 402 766 3720 or online at statebankofodell.com. That's the State Bank of Odell, member FDIC. Joined now by Dylan Hendricks, head coach of the Diller O'Dell Griffins. Coach, welcome back to the show again for another year. I guess starting off early on, how have the how have the boys looked, you know, first couple games you've had a chance and then practices as well. Yeah, we've only lost one guy. We had two seniors last year and one uh, uh, hurt his knee, didn't play the year. So we only lost one guy, so we have uh, um, a lot of experience coming back. We're about 18 strong. Um, so practices have been uh, pretty competitive, and they know what I um, expect. And and so we've kind of hit the ground running. And then our first game we played against Pawnee City. Uh, th- this year we were down by eight points at half, and we were able to uh, come storming back in the second half and win by three. And then uh, Friday night was a little bit of a letdown spot, and uh, we were kind of up and down, and but we figured out a way to pull off the win. Um, uh, I think we ended up winning by six at HTRS. Well, and talk about that. You do, you do have, have quite a few kids back, and being able to, you know, start off 2-0, and like you said, a tough-fought win against Pawnee City, you know, kind of a little revenge, but then learning how to, to compete again the next evening and win that game. How important is that from the standpoint of later on in the season getting into to tournament time and even postseason possibly? Yeah, it's really big. Uh, w- w- one of our biggest talking points to start the year was was close game and close losses. Um, last year we had about six, seven, eight games that we lost by less than six points. Um, and I told the boys that we had to figure that out because uh, we were going to be in a lot of close games this year. And so to have the first two games being close and battling uh, back and forth and able to uh, pull out the victories in those is a really good um, – first step for our team because um sometimes sometimes the boys uh just need to figure out uh ways to win and coming up for you guys here too i mean the schedule doesn't doesn't get any easier a couple games this week what what's like thayer central and sterling going to throw at you that you're going to need to to be prepared for and how, how are you victorious yeah, Thayer Central, they'll be a good team. Uh, they're one and one. They lost to Hanover by like 10, like 74 to 64. But uh, they'll have one of the best players that we'll go against all year. Um, he is. He had at least 36 um, the other night. Uh, he's he's only a junior, and he's already scored his uh, 1,000 points. So we'll have our handfuls with him, and that would be a – That'd be a huge win, a big um, step in the right direction again. And then uh, Sterling lost a couple um, really good players from last year's team, but they're pretty well coached and they work hard, so uh, we'll have to play good basketball to win that one. And last one here before I let you go, Coach, but you, we talked about kind of the consistency from last year to this year. What's one step you want your team to, to take here early on, either before Christmas or during Christmas break or, or this, this portion of the season? Um, well, if I had to say two things that, that we really need to focus on, one is free throws. We are, we've, been, we've been pretty bad at the free throw line. We've gotten there plenty of times. We've gotten there 50 times, but we are under 50%, which is not good enough in these big, close games. But mm-hmm. the other um, thing that we really stress on is uh, turnovers. Not only do turnovers hurt us in the offensive thing as we're not getting shots up, but they lead to transition points and things like that. So those would be the, the two big areas that I'd look at. Well, I know it's it's probably been an exciting start to the season. Look forward to the rest of it going on, and I appreciate you joining me here today. Again, joined by Dylan Hendricks, head coach of the Diller Odell Griffins boys basketball team. Appreciate the time as always, Coach, and look forward to chatting you here in the near future. Yes, I appreciate it. Diller Odell, Coach's Corner, a service of the State Bank of Odell and the Vance Curtis Funeral Loans.